Hi, welcome back to Darren Bernard's Poor Boys Crafts. This is part two of uh, Giant Centipede. Uh, we're going to be making the creature today. Last time we made the base for it, uh, it's just sitting right there. And now we're going to be making the creature itself. Uh, remember, if you like what you see, hit that like button, uh, subscribe, and share it to all your friends. Uh, remember, it's all free. Uh, if you subscribe, you'll be able to hit the notifications. And every time I put up a new uh, video, you'll uh, get notified and you'll be able to know. Okay, uh, to make the creature, um, we're going to use what's called Model Magic. You can get these at Dollar Tree for a buck twenty-five. Uh, you ain't going to be using it at all, so after you're done with it, find a good place, to, a good thing to put it in to seal it up. But it's real neat stuff, and you, it works really good to make stuff with. Let's see, I'll get it open here. There we go. It's real sticky, and it's real fun to play with and make stuff with. We also got a piece of freezer paper because like I said, it is real sticky. You don't want it sticking on your table or anything. So a little piece of freezer paper to work with and you're gonna need some toothpicks. But that's pretty much all you're gonna need besides some paint. But right now we're gonna take about a little under half because that's about all we're gonna need for this creature. I'm gonna stick the rest down in there. Now, I get uh, flavored waters and their canisters are perfect put stuff like this in because they seal and it won't ever dry out so I can stick it in there and it's good to go so now uh, we're going to make that creature first of all all we're going to do is just roll it out get it to the appropriate size just about okay it's a little bit too much so we'll take a little bit off there but we want it to be about three inches long just about have it looking about like that three inches long, just a little rolling bout and just let it flatten down on there. Give it a flat side on one side and that's just how we want it, rounded on the others. Okay, now I got my modeling tools here. They're all plastic, but again, you can get them at Dollar Tree for a buck 25. They come down in your craft section. And uh, the one we're gonna be using is this little guy right here. It's got a little hook on it. And that's just cause we're gonna, all centipedes are segmented. So we're going to start here at the tail, segment it around. Just kind of dench it in a bit. About like that. We're going to do the same thing all the way around. About every half inch or so. We're just going to push that clay in, that modeling magic, about every half inch. Just about like that. Okay, and notice, like I said, it's sticky. It'll stick right to that paper on there. Like I said, I use freezer paper. I just use, keep it on the uh, shiny side and hold really good there. Now, at the front here, at the head, we're just going to kind of squeeze on either side of it to create little snail-like eyeballs. Now it's going to look a little bit like a snail. See how that looks? You just kind of squeeze them together and bring them up. Now you can create them as long as you want or as short as you want, but that's going to be the eyes of this thing when it dries. Okay? Good. Now, using your little hook thing here, just go down the body and make little, just kind of pull and drag, make little indentions all over the body. That'll give it some texture. Just like it is, pull and drag, pull and drag, all up and down. There we go. Now, another thing centipedes are known for are legs. And that's where the toothpicks come in at. And what we're going to do is, we're going to just snip the tip off of them. About a half inch of it. Oop, dropped it. About a half inch of them. It's the sharp ends. 
Now that's about all we're going to need. Just about that. Just like that. Now we're going to want this thing, this part protruding out. The part you just cut, we're going to stick into the body. Just like that. Now we're going to go around the whole body. I've done cut off a whole mess of them here. Kind of a time saver. Now we're going to go through the whole body and push in into one into each segment of the body. Just like that. Now before we turn and do the other side, now these ain't going to stick in there on their own. And not only that, they kind of look funny. So we're going to grab our glue gun and we're going to put a little bit of glue right on the base and then wrap it around. Right on the base then wrap it around. Right on the base then wrap around. Continue that just like that and then wrap around. Now that'll do two things. It'll hold it into place then we, when we go to paint it it'll give a bulbous area there to make it look like it's coming out of the body. Let that dry a bit, then we'll pull the paper down and start on the other side. Lay again. Lay again. Lay again. Again, and one more leg in the last area. Alrighty. Now again, with our glue gun. All the way around. On, wrap around. On, wrap around. On, wrap around. On, wrap around. Okay, there, there we go. Got them all on there. Now, if you'll notice, working with that like that, you might have flattened out some of your area. So just go back around with an, with either your X-Acto knife or that one, either one. I just happen to have this in my hand here. And kind of squeeze that back in there to... Recreate your segmented lines. And your filtered lines. <coughs> there we go. Now we're going to make the mouth. Come around to the front, kind of where it flattens out there. Just take your little pokey thing, go right in here, and just dig in just a bit. Just like that. And you have your mouth. Now your creature is technically done, but as you've seen, it's very gooey. It, it's not set up. Now it'll take about 48 to 72 hours. That's two to three days for this to set up so you can paint it. So you need some place to put it and you're going to want to put it in a position that will fit this. I've built kind of a stand that works for this. Basically you can build it out of popsicle sticks. You just need a base with a popsicle stand sticking straight up one to each side, and then a, about three or four smaller pieces glued to there. You just pull this off of your stand, kind of set the head and body 
stick it around just like that. And you can set this up somewhere and let it set for two or three days till it hardens so that we can paint it. Okay? And we will be back as soon as it hardens. All righty, we're back. And as you see, it is dry. I mean, it's not completely dry, but it's dry enough that we can paint it, move it around. It stays in position and it'll look good once we're done. Okay? Now, the color scheme. Now, you can paint it any color you want. I mean, it can be uh, black with uh, pink stripes or red stripes or whatever color you want. Uh, so, your color scheme is your color scheme. Um, I'm going to uh, paint mine green and yellow. I just like green and yellow. Uh, so, that's what we're going to do. Uh, first off, we got to do our black color. So, grab out my trusty paint board put a little bit of black on here okay a lot of black I'll go through more black that way grab me out a medium brush Now, it's going to be hard to get down in all them little crevices, but just do the best you can. And again, we can use our little stand here to set it in to paint once you get the bottom back of it done. It'll help out a bit. There we go. Okay. And we'll wait for that to dry, and then we'll start painting it the other colors. Okay. Okay, we're back. Um, it has uh, dried uh, pretty much. Um, and of course, as sometimes does, I changed my mind uh, on the color scheme. I started looking at this black and I was like, man, that black is beautiful on there. So instead of green and yellow, I'm going to go black and red. I think that's going to make a very beautiful centipede and it's going to add a little bit of awesomeness to this project. So I got some candy apple red that uh, this come from uh, Apple Barrel as well. Again, 50 cents a, uh, two, or a, a bottle, so it's real cheap and inexpensive. Now I've taken a brush and I've trimmed it down to almost needle point. You just take a pair of scissors, kind of trim it down, and because we want very little, because what we're gonna do, we're gonna, I'm gonna start at the top here, I'm gonna pinstripe it down to the bottom. So very little paint starting at the head and I want to bring it down to almost to the legs right there like that almost to the legs there and then I'm going to bring it up the legs meet at the tip and then meet at the tip of the tail and then come back down the other side so That's how I'm going to do the pinstripe. Alrighty, here we go. Now if you'll take a look at take a look at there, see? I kind of had it meet up at the top here into a peak, come around the sides, 
meet to the back in a peak and come around to all sides. <coughs> now I will take a soft brush and then we're going to kind of feather that down so that it blends in to the black. Kind of just pat it. Pat it inward. There you go. And you got yourself a nice, neat little color scheme there. Alrighty, there we go. Put your paintbrushes in a some water to dry out. And this guy is pretty much done, except for the fantasy part. Now, you can do many things for fantasy. You can put tentacles on them, chitin armor, which I got some basically teardrop cardboard. Again, cardboard. Uh, just cut out a mess of teardrop pieces and uh, painted them brown. That so you can kind of bend them up, and you could glue them in a staggered formation. Like that. Something of that nature, give it a little bit more texture on top, or you can make tentacles. I'm going to show you how to make tentacles. You got your freezer paper. Now you got a shiny side here, that side up. Take your glue gun, put a little droplet on, and pull it down. You want to make several of them to get them the right consistency. Just kind of pull it back. Just like that. Some of them will work, some of them won't. Won't. I think I can put one more right in here. There we go. Let them dry. <clears throat> You'll see what you got there. See? Now they're going to be rounded on one side, flat on the other, just like tentacles. Take a little bit for them to dry. And the reason why I like using the freezer paper, because when you pull them off, some of that wax paper is still going to be stuck to them, which will give it a flary flavor. Almost dry, but I want to be careful. Hot glue is hot. It says it right in the name, you know, and it will burn you. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we'll take our trusty little knife here, kind of pull away the top piece, and just pull that off there. Kind of pull away some of that extra. Now you got yourself a little tentacle. Now, we're going to turn this bad boy over for a second. 